All right. So um, I've always heard the excuse when like um, like an adult will see another adult watching, you know, sitting around watching cartoons and say, "Hey, what are you doing?" You know, cartoons are only for kids. Why are you concerning yourself with such childish things? But um, uh, recently, when the, the movie Wall-E came out uh, a couple months ago, I noticed that a lot of people in my age group were, you know, actively going to see it, like, "Oh, I can't wait to watch Wall-E. It looks so good." And I never heard anything like, you know, "Oh, I'm going to take my little brother or my little cousin to watch Wall-E." You know, you know, it seems like uh, more and more adults are appreciating uh, animation or cartoons. And, you know, I really do think that. That more that more people in our age groups should um, appreciate um, animation or cartoons as an actual um, art form, like uh, movies or music or, or like a painting. Animations are, you know, they say that a, a drawing or a, pic a picture can uh, express a thousand words, but you know, since animation consists of so many images, you know, there's so many images to. Um, interpret and, you know, gain an experience from. You know, more, most people who say cartoons are for kids, you know, they only they only think that um, live action, you know, like dramas or things like that, are considered to be a real art form, but animation could do so much more than a real actor can. They can, um, they can play with um, the gesture of a person, you know, like, eye popping and tongue, like long tongues, like Tech Avery cartoons. And they can play with colors so much to like bring out your emotions. Like one example of this um, was back in 1914. Um, a cartoonist named uh, Winston McGay uh, has been doing like some of the first animations and people got really excited. He did one um, feature called Gertie the Dinosaur, which featured a large um, a large, I don't know what dinosaur, but just a large dinosaur interacting with um, the animator. You know, the animator would tell them, hey, uh, Gertie, why don't you move your left foot, your left arm, and you would do it, even though it's, you know, already done. He's just the same as to these the people. And it was just an exciting experience to see this, like, living, breathing dinosaur, you know, moving around. And you know, it's a dinosaur. And it's just, it's already amusing enough. And, and animation could cover so much um, than you know just the Looney Tunes type of thing. It could it could be dark, it could be it could be mysterious, it could be exciting, it could get your heart pumping, you know. And there's so much that animation hasn't covered yet. That um, you know, so many ways of telling a story through visuals, so many to create so many things to create an emotion like a drama or a comedy. And I, it would be great if um, more adults got got into it and you know see it for the for the art it can produce. Thank you.